Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with another uh, fake Grand Order video. Because today I'm going to talk about the Halloween 2020 revival because it was actually announced. And since Dragalia is going to get me pretty busy in a couple days, I figured I may as well talk about it now and kind of tell you about it a little bit. So that's going to be today's video. I hope you like it. If you do, you can leave a like, comment, tell me about how much you're looking forward to it or how much you're just saving sp for Space Age Star at this point, what your plans are going forward, uh, if you're going to be grinding the raid, stuff like that. And as always, you can sub to me if you want to help me out in general. If you just want to hear my voice and more stuff, that's a good way of doing it. But anyway, um, Fate Grand Order, Oniland. This is basically the last of the Halloween, traditional Halloween events. Because our next event is uh, Space Ishtar, which is 100% not a Halloween event. Uh, in Japan, I think they might be returning. There's been some hints of some Liz speak in some of this year's events in Japan that makes people think that maybe Halloween is coming back this year. I would really like it. But all for all intents and purposes, this is the last Halloween event that um, Fate Grand Order ever released. Um, traditional. Tra a traditional Halloween, I should say. Um, and this is Oni Land, and the limited uh, unit is a caster shooting doji, who is, I think, pretty good and pretty neat to have on. Now, I think a lot of people really do not like her as a unit, and they think that she's very weak because she's a single target caster. Um, and this is what I'll have to say about this, is that I think a lot of people, when they view them like this, they usually view it in the kind of, the kind of lens of, like, damage is the end-all be-all. And I can understand that, so why bring a single target caster where you could bring a single target berserker? And the answer to me is is that there's actually a decent amount of challenge quests where it would just be so much easier if you just had a single target caster. And there's not that many in the game. So it's better to have one in my opinion than to just not have one. So yeah, I think she's still pretty neat and I like her look. So if you're someone who just likes shooting and then this is an absolute want for you and this is your last chance for her because this is a great outfit for her and stuff. Um, if you're someone who only cares about units, then you've already made your mind up years ago. So <laughs> it's pointless for me to talk to you, but I'm gonna say what I wanna say regardless. I think she's worth having and worth building up if you, um, at least a 666, if you're someone who's looking for a single target caster. Her uh, attack set is very niche, but against those niche fights, she's very good. For example, in this raid, which kind of takes advantage of her specific anti-niche because they're all enemies that she's very good against. Um, you also do need to clear Lost Belt 2 if you want to... Is it Lost Belt 2? Is it Lost Belt... No, yeah, it's 2, it's 2. Um, go, go to her dam, the Scotty one. So you have to beat that one if you want to do this one because of the character that is on the main summon campaign, which is a Setonia. Um, this is kind of the summon banner here. Most people at this point are saving for summer, not summer Ishtar, space Ishtar. God damn, there's so many Ishtars. Um, yeah, most people are saving for space Ishtar. Space Ishtar is better than every unit on here, but if one of these units is one of your favorite units, there's not a lot of chances for you to get them kind of on a <laughs> banner rate right up. And I want to say after this, you will never get another solo. Actually, I... Setonia does share a lot of 50-50 rate-ups, but she's not on a lot of solo rate-ups. And I think the same can kind of be said about shooting as well. Um, and of course, the Summer Banana, which is uh, all Summer units are very hard to get. <laughs> they very rarely appear outside of Summer Banner... Uh, summer Banners? Yeah. And when they do, it's always a good time to pick them up if you're someone who's a big fan of them and you want to quickly get them. Uh, but basically, if you like any of these characters, you already know that you're saving for them. But for the most part, most people at this point are saving for Space Star. I already have Setonia, so I don't really have a need to summon for this banner. I also have plenty of the Craft Essences, so I don't really need to be summoning. The Craft Essences themselves aren't that amazing. They're mainly used for... Uh... Actually, I think Welcome to Only Land would be pretty good if you could get... Uh... You would need a lot of copies. You would need to get a full unbind for it to be pretty good. And even then, I think there's still better options for 5-star um, CE. But still, usable. Anyway, what was I saying? Uh, yeah, if you like these units, you're summoning. And if not, Space Star is literally around the corner. 
So what kind of event is this actually? Well, first of all, it has point rewards. And basically you need to climb the point ladder. But this one's a very weird one because it's also a raid. And you can see here's the raid with three different levels of um, difficulty in it. Um, but this is a weird raid because it starts on Act 8. And Act 8 won't be here until... There we go. So Act 8 starts on the 29th. So you have, uh, let me see, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. You have basically five days from when the event launches to kind of catch up. Because your best chance of getting a lot of uh, raid points, you can see right here, is from this raid, is from this raid battle. Uh, point, point rewards, I mean. Um, and also the raid battle themselves also has some pretty good stuff. It has eggs, which a lot of units need. It's This is important for Scotty. Um, stakes are very good, and I don't remember who uses bullets, but let's assume that a lot of people use it. Because it's a bronze. So if they do use it, they use a vast amount of it, so it's nice to have it. Um, so yeah, that's kind of how the event is structured. It's a pretty simple event outside of that, and it can be pretty easily grinded as well, from what I remember. Um, the story itself I think is pretty nice, especially if you're a big fan of Magical Girl or Sentai type shows. Um, the live action variety it has a lot of fun little story stuff in there. Uh, but yeah, this is kind of it for this. I think I've explained basically anything. Some of the- oh, so here's something that I could actually use. Uh, how come they're not showing me what they do? We hear the commands codes. Demonic um, Twilight Dragon increases damage against dragons by 20% on an engraved card. Very good if you want to kill dragons really good. Increases critical damage against dragon enemies. They're all I'm going to bet against dragon. Remove one deep. This is actually very good. White, white, white Vessel's Command Seal. So if you don't have them, it's always good to pick these up. Uh... Oh, I could have done here. I'm a dum-dum. Here are the craft essences. None of them are too good from what I can remember from the free variety, but they're all very good art. This is a very spooky bear. I like the bear. He's fishing. Who doesn't love fishing? And royal icing. My god. Do I really need to say more? It's royal icing. It's very good. Very good CE. So this is your last chance to kind of get them. So I would suggest uh, playing it for that exact reason. But yeah, uh, that's this event coming up. Should be pretty easy. At this point, most people are summoning, are waiting for Space Ishtar. So this is your last chance to kind of get some build up for it. Especially on the Point Rewards Ladder, which has a lot of... Uh, it has summon tickets on it. So those are good to kind of pick up and get them from there. The raids themselves have eggs, which Space Ishtar needs for her skills. So it's good to pick them up there as well. Um... And in general, people, I think that story also uses Gen Genesis eggs, so you want to get as many eggs as you can. But yeah, it's a pretty simple event. Should be pretty fun. It's the last of the Halloween ones, so I'm going to be very sad when it's gone and we're going to have no longer Halloween events in October from Fate. At least in, hopefully in Japan in two years from this point. Hopefully Japan this year has an actual Halloween event again, because I love Halloween events. But yeah, let's see in today's video, everyone. I hope you liked it. I'll see you guys in the next video, and you guys have a good old day, and a good night. Bye-bye.